You know, someone was talking with me from one of the African nations, and he said that uh, they are even copying our dressing. This is our dressing. So that means it's a serious response. Can we ask? They are watching us. The, the way we dress, they now challenge their tailors to produce this kind of. That's what happens when the mountain of the Lord's house is exalted. No, don't clap, don't clap, don't clap. We need to ask God for mercy so that we will not give the wrong example. It's, it, don't rejoice, don't rejoice. Say, they go to their tailors and say, are you saying this thing? Produce it. The people we are following, this is what they are wearing. And we, are, no, we don't know if this is where the anointing is coming from. <laughs> can, you, can, you, can we plead with God to have mercy? Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. We, we arrived at Topia. And when we arrived at Topia, before you um, are allowed to go to your hotel, there is an elaborate security screening that is done. And um, Ethiopian Airways happens to be the number one um, flight corporation in Africa. All right? If you see the tarmac in Ethiopia, the number of planes lined up. The only time you will see that in the whole of Europe is when you see British Airways planes lined up. But the number of planes you will see in Ethiopia is more than what you will see in British Airways. So it's a convergence point. So a lot of people will be doing that screening with you from different nations. Now, we were, we were trying to screen. Then I saw some women with hijab obviously muslim and one of them called me a post i said i didn't answer i said it's a trap they are trying to <coughs> hallelujah i said hallelujah Amen. so i escaped from that place because i know a lot of people hate me too so we have our own way of protecting ourselves <laughs> so she, she when I escaped, she escaped too. I see apostle. Ah. So I now waited to hear what. Said, do you know that I was advised to follow your messages? I, you need to see this lady. They were in a team. She left that team to come and talk with me. That's, I was advised to follow your message. When she talked about our messages, then I said, <laughs> those words are true. She says she knows that um, let me just give her my number so that she can forward her questions. I froze in that place. You know what that means? Even beyond, Christ, that's beyond Christianity, the boundary of Christianity, people it's not an easy place to build. Don't, it's not, you don't even pray for it. Don't pray for it. Visibility. is only one person that should be visible. Only one name that should be known. All right? Jesus. Don't think any form of visibility is always go to him and labor for mercy. It's only in his mercy that that visibility will give him glory and you yourself will be covered. A great thing is happening. A Muslim lady fully, fully kitted. The, the ones that only unveil I froze there. And I began to pray instantly. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, oh God. I'm trying to show you the scope of responsibility that God has conferred and how that we need a tank of grace to power our assignment from this time henceforth. 
Are you, can you feel what I'm talking about here? Can you feel it? Are you talking about, you know those buses that we used to pick you up from your aircraft to go to the terminal? You know how limited the number of people in the buses are? Then one will shout, Hey, Apostle! Hallelujah. Meanwhile, on the same bus, you will see clerics, Islamic clerics, counting. Very serious. And people are kneeling down in that bus for prayer. They didn't go to the clerics. So they are wondering, who is this boy? It's not about the boy. He serves the greatest king of all time. <laughs> oh my God. Can we ask him? You are, not, you are not following me. You are not following me. The way we need to pray about these prayers, it should be more desperate. Can we ask him for mercy? Show us mercy. Show us. Show us mercy. Show us mercy. Show us mercy. Show us mercy. As a ministry, show us mercy. As individuals, show us mercy. That everything we do will be a reflection of your will. So that men will find strength in our silence. They will find strength in our words. They will find strength in our testimony. They will find encouragement in our story. That everything concerning us will be a brilliant, brilliant revelation of the grace and compassion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Saikaba Mama Tia Lakose Megobon Saike Braskito Mokoria Bamandi Asima Brasketo Mogolo Ikabahusa Maiko Pama Brakasiko Bendo Lomovise Mahasiko Brandeli Kabiakos Kamantalia Barakande Mo Yet pick that song, sing that song. Have mercy. Have mercy on me. 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 Have Shebina <laughs> Maybe one day I will share a testimony. I've been accumulating it. It's in a bag. I will unveil it very soon. We're traveling to Botswana. And since we always use Ethiopian Airways, if it is Africa, they will take you to Addis Ababa. You spend the night in Skylight Hotel. And then the next day, you continue your journey. So we were continuing, and they put us in that bus to take us to our, our plane. And then somebody shouts, Apostle. A Kenyan man is also going for the same event. And we now meet in the bus takes all kinds of pictures. You know, these are the days of, even when you are sober, people will force you to take pictures. And then he has these uh, very thick spectacles. So we go for the meeting. And then the healing began to flow. And one of the people healed is the man that met me on the bus. 
the thick glasses were no longer needed. He goes home like the utopian eunuch. I've seen that again and again. And I, I look at myself. No. It's not me. I have no hand in that. The great monarch just decided that, okay, I will just, I will, I, I choose you for my own reasons. To be part of my glory. When you begin to see that again and again, then you need to make it a point of duty to always acknowledge him everywhere you go. The thick spectacles were no longer needed. No longer needed. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Amen. You go to some nations, they, when you see the level of poverty, your heart will not even allow you to receive prophet offering. Because of, we are far better off than many. That thing you call your struggle is a breakthrough for somebody. Yes, it's a breakthrough. You need to see the setting. Is dry. But they are happy at the gospel. And I see it a great privilege. So sometimes you need to turn down prophet offering. So that the people can meet up with the, the, the cancel the debt that came as a result of the meeting. Hallelujah. Because I consider it a great privilege to even be in that labor in the first place. I have seen God, go out of his way to prove a point that I'm with you. I've seen it. Things he will not do normally. I was just doing a, a lecture talking about the authority of God. Then I, he now said, okay, okay. There's a practical in this, your lecture. I said, yes, sir. He said, okay. Um, there are people that are deaf here. But some of them are using hearing aid. Tell them to stand up. So I told them to stand up. In fact, I never knew that there are more than hearing aids that when they put it in the ear, you not even see it. People began to remove. <laughs> oh my God. And he healed them all. No one was left. He healed them all. All. I saw different models of hearing aids. Computer chips in the ears of men to aid, to... Uh, microphone speakers so that when you speak it vibe it traps the sound until he can send information to the brain in their numbers they were no longer re required and when such power is found in your hand people will want to worship you but if they see the way you are preaching and how you are born witness that you are helpless they will not know that this man represents another. Yes, I am diligent to ensure that I don't pose to be the champion. Have mercy on us. Continually. That our eyes will look upon you as our source and our sustainer, our strength and our defender. That in our words and in our deeds, let your throne be exalted forever and let your name be magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.